And now, a special announcement from President Friedland. Good morning, Bill.com. I'm your founder and president, Christian Friedland. It has recently been brought to my attention that many of you have failed the monthly phishing security audit conducted by our IT team. And as a result of this, you're fired. FIRED! If you're part of the media team and you're filming this right now, as soon as we're finished, you're fired as well. FIRED! Nobody's getting fired. This happens every time we have a security audit, and on average about 20% of the company fails it. But I get why Chris is frustrated, and you know, rightly so. Um, you know, phishing's a serious problem. So fortunately, IT has found a solution for this problem, and it's called common sense. Common sense is being used by pretty much every company out there now, and it's about time we started using it too. Uh, Dan Davis uh, has started using common sense, and uh, after talking with him, you'll see that he has come a long way from where he was. You know, you wouldn't think the, the VIP technology, someone like myself, would uh, fall for a phishing attack, but uh, not too long ago, um, I myself did. You know, I had an opportunity uh, come my way to be a, a Nigerian prince. Um, this is something I've wanted to do for, for a long time, and so uh, I was, you can imagine how excited I, I was when I got that email. It was, seemed really, really simple and straightforward. I just needed to send my name, uh, address, uh, my social security number. In return, I would get a whole package. Uh, I would include a robe, uh, a medallion, um, everything you needed to become a Nigerian prince. Uh, never happened though, never happened. Uh, so it doesn't matter what kind of technology or security systems you have in place. You, the human element, is always the weakest link in any security policy. These people don't care about your personal privacy. They uh, strictly just want to get into company information. And to do that, they'll send emails, they'll drop USB sticks, they'll do whatever's necessary to gain that access. When they send out these emails, they look very inconspicuous. It'll look like it's coming from a fellow employee, it could be coming from a friend, and they'll look very authentic. But, you know, usually you'll see like a link in there to click on something, and that link takes you to a website that is outside of our network. And when you open that link and you enter your credentials, the person who sent it to you now has your password. Yeah, I had a real issue, actually. Um, phishing email, kind of like the one right over my shoulder here. Asked for my email logins and, uh, you know, it looked legit. So I gave them my, my logins. The worst part was uh, they changed my profile picture on Grindr and uh, my wife found out, so. Life kind of hit the fucking fan. There's many ways to ingest common sense. My favorite's in coffee. You know, you just really get that common sense with the caffeine and it's just amazing. So kind of do it like this, you know, just pour it in like that. That's probably a little too much, but uh, ever since I've been using common sense, um, I don't fall for phishing emails anymore. Then I don't provide any of my sensitive information to unverified sources. In all seriousness, this company was built on common sense. Our president and founder has been using common sense his whole life, or at least since high school. We need to ensure, though, that all employees get approved common sense. Be very careful of where you're getting it from. Uh, only go to approved sources, and if you have any questions, always ask IT. We can help you find the proper common sense. So, how has common sense helped him? Uh, Myron? He, yeah, he started using common sense a few, maybe a couple weeks ago. Hi, I'm on RoseoBill.com TV, and today we're looking at this kitchen faucet. You're really gonna like it, because I do. <laughs> Ever since he started using it, he's brought new life into our reviews, and beforehand, he was always clicking on suspicious links, like mostly get rich quick schemes or uh, mail order brides. Now, another great thing about this faucet is it's really strong. Check this out. I don't really know how healthy it is for him, because. It's working, so that's all that really matters, right? If you are Jamaican and have a wall of rum next to your desk, please leave the rum in my office before leaving the building. Software development must remove the mini mart of crap food before leaving the building. To all the IT members that conducted the audit, you were fired for forcing me to have to fire everybody else. If you're currently placing an order, as soon as that transaction is finished, you're fired. All fired. All fired. Fired!